Hi guys. So as you would have seen, uh, I recently received the lay gift um, from from Unet Bank. Uh, the gift came with this uh, piece of paper that contains uh, a couple of questions. There are six questions that came with this note, so I'm gonna try and answer them to to the best of my abilities. So without wasting any further time, let's go. So question one: Were you surprised at what the unboxing led you to? Uh, honestly, I was very surprised because I, I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't expecting anything really. Uh, so I, when I saw this big box, it started to, to play with my mind. I started guessing what could it possibly be. So when I saw that it's a bottle of cognac, I thought, oh wow, thank you bank. <laughs> Quite an expensive looking <laughs> bottle of cognac. But as I actually looked into the packaging of the, of the bottle itself, I realized in the back that there's actually uh, a message behind the gifting. Um, it, it's actually captured very well at the, at the back of the bottle itself. The message, as far as I interpret it, is that we must obviously try and, and avoid <coughs> spending you know, money unnecessarily on expensive things that we love. We must try and resist that urge. You know, there's always going to be something out there that you desire, that you love, that is going to break your bank balance. But before you actually take the decision to actually spend the money, on the item, you must ask yourself the question, is it worth it? Do I really need uh, to spend so much money uh, on this on this um, expensive item? So I was surprised because I thought I was just being gifted with uh, an expensive uh, bottle of cognac, but there was actually a more profound um, uh, message uh, behind the gifting itself. And, and I learned that as, as I continued with the unboxing and looking through the packaging. So question number two, what was your initial reaction or thought when you realized what was happening? Uh, so when, when I actually realized what was happening, when I started reading um, the, the bottle um, label and the message at the back, I had to hear a nerve because it actually forced me also to kind of uh, sort of reflect on my, my, my spending habits and, and, and the choices that I make with my money. And it actually, yeah, um, sort of forced me to start thinking about uh, ways in which I can really start using my money in a way that is more responsible, in a way that is more sustainable, and in a way that supports actually the, the goals that I wanna, uh, the financial goals that I actually wanna achieve. Uh, in moment. The third question is, what are your thoughts on today's current spend culture? Ooh. Uh, this is a very interesting question. Uh, honestly, from my from my from my own personal observation, I think. Um, the spend culture is quite high, uh, especially considering the fact that we we, we are a developing country. But um, I think generally people live beyond their means, and, and there's a variety of reasons um, um, to that. And one of uh, the biggest contributing factor, obviously, is being the impact of, on, on of social media into our life. Greater part of social media is about showing this aspirational lifestyle. So everyone is constantly trying to. To, to keep up with, with what they see on social media. Everyone is constantly using their money to chase the, the, the next trend. So we, as young people, we are living the, the YOLO lifestyle. We all know what that means. You only live once, you know, uh, if you see something that you like, no matter how expensive it is, you'll buy it, you'll see it tomorrow. And people are not really thinking about the future and, 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 and the long-term implications of how they use their money. Ironically, um, COVID-19 has really showed us that, yay, you need to save for the future. You need to always have a little bit that you, you keep in the bank because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, you may lose your job, you may get retrained. Make sure that at least you save a reasonable percentage of your salary every month and put it away for rainy days because rainy days do come. It isn't always sunshine and rainbows, you know. So I think, in a nutshell, our spending, our spending culture is, is, is quite ridiculously high. Uh, we're not geared towards um, saving and investing. We are more of a spending um, 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 generation or country uh, as, opposed to, as opposed to just saving our money and investing our money and allowing our money to, to work for us and help us, you know. The fourth question is, is saving important? It's phrases to you, but actually to me. Anyway, I think being being a young dad of 
to being a, a young husband and, and being someone who's really uh, building a foundation of, of, of success uh, for myself, uh, I think saving is, is, is everything. In order for, for, for me to build uh, the vision that I have for my life, uh, money is, 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 is an integral part of, of that process. Um, it isn't just about the making of the money, it's, it's really a balance of making the money and, and saving it. You know, I think personally that saving money is as important as making it, if, it, if not more important. Because if it, if, even if you make a lot of money, think about it, you can make a lot of money, but if you're not saving the money and you're actually spending it, as it comes in, it goes out. You know, you, 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 you won't have money, irrespective of how much money you make. But if you have, even if you're earning little, if you are putting away a reasonable percentage of that amount uh, and saving it um, for, for, for rainy days, uh, you are actually financially in a better position than someone who actually makes a lot of money. So it isn't just about chasing that job that pays you a lot and, and being an entrepreneur and making a lot of money. It's about that plus how you actually use the money once you receive it. And I think that's what we get wrong. Uh, we, you know, we, 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 we want to make a lot of money. Everybody wants to make a lot of money, but nobody actually focuses on, or nobody teaches us um, to focus on, on, on what to do once we have that money, right? So we get, we, we buy, we get, we buy, we get, we buy. We don't get and we save. So for me, you know, um, saving money is as important as making it. You know, I, I run my life like, like a business. So from January till December, I need to evaluate at the end of the year to see how much money did I actually make and actually also calculate how much money did I actually spend and see the difference, how much money did I actually save um, through uh, a period of 12 months and, and every year I try to beat uh, the amount of money I make and, 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 and the amount of money I save. So every year it's just that's how I grow. So if, if I make a hundred thousand this year and I spend uh, 70 then I've got 30,000. Next year in a 12 month cycle I need to make sure that I actually make more than 100k um, spend <laughs> um, less and, and actually make uh, more than the 30k profit the following year, maybe 35 or 40, and so it goes. So in that way, I, I always ensure that I'm actually accumulating money. Um, I'm actually becoming better on not only making money but also uh, spending money. Because every year I look, I reflect and say, okay, how much money did it was, and then I obviously go through. Um, a reflection of okay, Zola, you bought six sneakers this year. I've got that for a habit of buying sneakers that I, I, I don't even, some I haven't even worn in over 12, 12 months. So then I, I go through that reflection. Was it necessary for me uh, to spend 4k or 5k in a sneaker that I haven't I've worn twice in the whole 12 month cycle? I could have use that 4k and 5k and invested it it would have been 7k by the end of 12 months and 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 so i, I always do that so that the following year i am actually i'm actually um more wiser with how i, I spend my money and i actually grow managing money and saving money is a, is a critical skill it's, it's a very important skill that we we are not um taught enough we we taught as i said Every, the focus is on making money. Let's make money. Let's make money. Uh, concept of you know um, multiple streams of income and all of that. But no one is actually focusing on once you have these multiple streams of income. Once you have this big fat salary, what do you do with it? And naturally, we spend because we live in a country or in a society where it's just about spending. It's about getting the next best thing so that you are. Uh, the talk of the town you've got the best sneakers you've got the best bag you've got the best gadgets and and and, and more often than not to those are things that you you really don't need well, question number five uh reads as follows what role has been money wise played in your success yo guys <laughs> i wasn't always wise about money i won't lie especially when i came out of university um, got my first job as a, as a candidate at him. I was making a reasonable amount of money and for the first two years I literally just spent
spent all my, like I literally just spent my money I didn't save my money I spent it and it was upon reflecting after a period of two years when I finished my articles and to look back and actually what, what have I done with my money uh, to actually better myself and, and the only thing that I could see uh, have, that I haven't spent my money on was lots and lots of expensive sneakers uh, and that's when I actually started um, thinking very hard and deep um, as, to, as to how important it will be uh, for my future growth uh, as a young professional and my success and, 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 and um, in building the things that I want to build uh, how important saving money uh, is in that process uh, so I won't lie, as I said earlier on, the, the, the saving part and, and, and being money wise, the saving part is as important as the making of the money. I'm very jealous of my money now. I don't just let it go for no reason. I'm very jealous. I hold on to it. I need to think uh, very carefully uh, before I let it out of my hands. Because now my philosophy is, my philosophy is that if, if I use my money, I need to be able to point at something uh, a year from now and say, there, there it is, I used my money on that. You know, this is what my money did for me. Uh, I don't just want to sp spend my money and when I look back, I'm, I'm unable to identify or point to anything that my money has done for me. So the last, last question is, what are your overall thoughts on what NetBank is doing? There, there, there is a gap, you know, in, in so far as financial literacy is concerned. Focus point is more geared towards making money right uh, it's more geared towards you know choose this profession it's going to make you more money you do this it's going to make you more money but there is a gap in, in so far as educating people on, on, on what to do um, with their money once they've made it and and net bank obviously being a bank and and having access to to people's money spending habits I think they've identified the gap that is actually very poor you know financial management skills in South Africa and what they're doing I think is that they're really trying to educate the nation on, on how they must spend the money they are basically saying to us as consumers use your money in a manner that builds you as opposed to spending ridiculous amounts of money feeding unnecessary and unhealthy habits of trying to chase aspirational lifestyle for the sake of Real cloud is using in your Yako. Can't you like a nipileo so that Uzo was money financial health and achieve the dreams that you desire? So that's it, guys. For me, that's the message that I take out of this. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any tips on how best we can actually save our money and use it to our advantage, also comment on, on the comment section. Otherwise, peace.